Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is a Series 7 Guru, a.k.a. Dean Tenney, coming to you from my studio in an undisclosed location off-grid. We are doing our live stream overtime session. We don't do this every Tuesday. Uh, we do it every other Tuesday or so. And there's some things that don't lend themselves well to the normal live stream Q&A. And so in that case, I say, join me. In this case, uh, this is something somebody wanted to talk about as well as a student who had an explication request. So we can knock out uh, two birds with one stone here. I very rarely say this, but if you're a series seven test taker, you can't be fumbling around with the parity calculation with math. You might even have to do this more than once. Parity means equal. So here's a good example of a practice question and something you might encounter on your exam. A convertible bond has a conversion price of 20. You got to stop. The minute you get a question with a conversion price, you have to stop and say, bastards, I don't need the conversion price. I need the conversion ratio. So we got to know how many shares we can get. Anybody know how we're going to go get the conversion ratio? Current market yep. price divided by... Yeah, it's par. So we're going to take par... Yeah. And we're going to divide by the conversion price, which is 20. And now we're back in business. Uh, by the way, I am arithmetically challenged. Somebody offers me a calculator. I'm going to say thank you very much. Because, you know, when I try and eyeball it, I think it's 50. But why not use my calculator? It is indeed 50 shares. So that is called the conversion ratio. You can't do any parity calculation without the conversion ratio. Now, sometimes they're nice and they just give to you. I say, well, hey, yeah, I said, thank you very much. Uh, the current market price of the convertible, the current market price of the convertible is 1,150, right? Because bonds trade is a percentage of par. And par is a thousand. So the question here, Barry, is if, if we buy this bond for 1,150 that's convertible into uh, 50 shares of the common, what would we be paying for the common? That's what parity means, equal. And you certainly wouldn't buy this convertible bond unless you thought it was going to get to that price. The common stock is typically trading below parity. The way we get parity of the stock is we take the current market price of the convertible and we divide by the conversion ratio. And I say, Barry, if we buy this bond for 1,150 and we convert it into the stock, we would be paying 1,150 divided by 50 we'd be paying $23 for the stock. That is called parity of the common. Parity means equal. Buying this bond for 1,150 is equal to paying $23 for the stock. Typically the stock would be trading below parity. It'd be like $21. And the idea here, Barry, is that we don't think it's going to 23. Uh, we wouldn't do this. Boom. Uh, by the way, here's another example of the same question. I might, uh, same setup, Barry. A convertible a convertible corporate bond with a conversion price of 20 is trading at 115. Uh, if the common stock is trading two points below parity, what is the common stock trading at? That's the same question, basically, right? Yeah, and you would just check two. Yeah, there you go, 21. Got right. it. Uh, one other thing that uh, is important. The other reason the conversion ratio is important, Barry, is because the issuer might offer to call these bonds away from you. Mm -hmm. They might make you an offer, and then you got to decide whether you want to accept that tender, that offer, or the, whether you want to convert. And again, that becomes important because we would take 50 shares times the common stock price. Mm -hmm. That'd be parity of the bond. And if that's more money than the call price, we say, I'll take the stock. And if I take 50 shares times and it's less, then I say, I'll take the money, right? So that's also where that conversion ratio, the most important thing is the conversion ratio. 
Uh, to get parity to the bond, we go the other way. We go the other way. Uh, I have entire lectures on convertible bonds where you can watch me go back and forth on that. I'm doing debt securities next Wednesday. And uh, you're welcome. When are you testing, Barry? On Thursday. Oh, well, that will do you any good. <laughs> so. <laughs> no worries. This was really helpful. Thanks, Dean. Okay. You bet. All right. Let's put the Kaplan Q Bank away. Now let's stop the recording. Uh, boom.